गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सोनिका लोहान सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू टॉपिक व्हिच इज फॉर्मेटिंग ऑफ द चार्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग थ्री टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट यूजिंग गोल सीक सेकंड कंसोलिडेशन ऑफ डेटा एंड थर्ड ग्रुपिंग द वर्कशीट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट टॉपिक यूजिंग गोल सीक so excel provide you with various kind of features and goal seek is one of them it is a very good feature for fixing a specific result for the one cell by adjusting the value in the another cell let's justify the statement to do that go to the data tab click on the what if analysis option in the data tool click on the goal seek now a window displays in this window the first question they ask is set cell now the thing is i want to set the value of this cell that is e7 to value i want to set it to 220 while i am changing the value in this cell the change may occur in any of these three cells now i have to select the cell where i want the change so i have to write by changing the cell i want the change in this cell that is b7 when i click okay the values automatically changes here it becomes 220 which i have set and whichever uh, the value it has to increase it has added those numbers in b7 now we have justified our statement that fixing the result in one cell by adjusting the value in the other cell this is how the goal seek works the second topic is consolidating data now by consolidation we mean that combining of data so we can combine the data of various ranges either in the same worksheet or in the other worksheet so i will be telling you how to do this now sometimes what uh, we do is we have the same kind of data but for the different years so that means the headings and the subheadings remain same but the data changes in that case we have to write again and again to reduce that thing eliminate that thing what we do is we group the sheets so press click on the sheet one then press shift and click on the other sheet which you want to group now you can see there it is written data then the group that means you have grouped the worksheet now go to the first sheet start writing your data now as i am adding my data in the sheet 2 it is automatically appearing in the sheet 3 also so this is the heading and the subheading which will remain same and the rest of the data will change so let's uh, let us fill the data now before filling the data you have to ungroup your worksheet to do that right click click on the ungroup sheet option so this is how now you can see there is no group written on the name so this is how grouping and ungrouping works now enter your data now what i want to do is i want to combine the data of sheet 2 and sheet 3 in sheet 4 so this is the data of sheet 2 this is the data for sheet 3 and this is the data for sheet 4 where i will be combining all the values so to do that click on the cell starting cell go to the data tab click on the consolidate option this window appears first of all select the function as we are going to add it so some function is okay now you have to mention your reference click here go to the sheet 1 now uh, go to the sheet 2 now see here it is sheet 2 select your reference like this i have selected it now click on the add option again clear it from here 
go to the sheet 3 again select your reference like this click on the add option now press ok when you press ok you can see you have the sum of both the sheets so this is the correct data so this is how you combine the data of two different sheet in the another sheet the last topic is of grouping worksheet i will re-explain it now to group the worksheet again click on the first sheet then press the shift button from your keypad click on the sheet last sheet till where you want to group so i will click on the sheet 4 now the three of the sheets has been grouped to ungroup them click on right click on any of the sheet click on the ungroup sheet option now one more thing you can rename the sheets also like here it is written sheet 2 i want to rename it click on the rename option now give it the name the suitable name likewise it is the first quarter sale 2018 so i will be writing sales 2018 then click on the next sheet now the the one way is to right click and rename the other way is just double click press the backspace key and write the name here i will write the sales 2019 and the last sheet is the consolidated data so I will be writing consolidation. So this is how the consolidation of data works. This is the end of the chapter. Hope you understand it. If you have any query, please free to call anytime. Thank you.